Chalmers in the garage. Chalmers is very proud of his branch line. As far as he and his coaches, Annie and Clarabel, are concerned, it is the most important part of the old railway. Annie and Clarabel may be old and their coats of brown paint may be a little drab, but Chalmers loves them very much. Sometimes he calls to them when he starts off from a station. Come along, we're rather late, he'll call. Oh, come along, we're rather late. Annie and Clarabel don't mind this. They know Thomas is only trying to please me and be a credit to the railway. They also know that if Thomas is cross, he's not cross with them. One day, they had to wait at the junction station for Henry's train. Henry was late, and this made Thomas very cross. How can I run my line properly if the main line connection is always late? He grumbled impatiently. Those big engines don't realize that the top mat depends on me. At last, Henry pulled into the station. Where have you been? asked Thomas. My system is out of order, replied Henry. Thomas hissed as some of Henry's passengers boarded Annie and Clarabel. No one understands my case, moaned Henry. You don't know what I suffer. You're just out of shape, said Annie. You need exercise. Thomas waited, growing crosser and crosser. Lizzie watched as people piled into Annie and Clarabel with their luggage. At last, she blew a whistle and waved a green flag. Thomas started at once. Lizzie turned to climb aboard Clarabel, tripped over a lady's umbrella, and fell flat onto the platform. Thomas accelerated so quickly that by the time Lizzie had picked herself up, Thomas had steamed out of the station with Annie and Clarabel. She blew a whistle to stop Thomas, but it was no use. He was well on his way. Come along, come along, Thomas called to the coaches. But Clarabel didn't want to come along. I've lost Lizzie, she sobbed. I've lost my nice guard. We haven't a guard, Thomas, called Annie. But Thomas was determined to make up for lost time and wasn't listening. Clarabel and Annie tried to ply their brakes, but they couldn't without a guard. Thomas didn't slow down or stop till they came to a signal at Ginger. Bother that signal, hissed Thomas. What's the matter? I don't know, said Charlie. Lizzie will tell us in a minute. They waited, but Lizzie was nowhere to be seen. Thomas whistled impatiently. Where is that guard? We've left her behind, croaked Annie. Clarabel gave a start. She's coming! Everyone looked. There was Lizzie running as fast as she could along the line with her flags in one hand and her whistle in the other. Everyone cheered her as she ran up. She was exhausted, so she had a drink and told them what had happened. I'm sorry, Lizzie, said Thomas. Oh, it wasn't all your fault, replied Lizzie. Look, the signal's down now. Let's make up for lost time. And off they went with everyone on board. Clarabel and Annie were so pleased to have their guard back that they urged Thomas to go as fast as he pleased all the way up the branch line.